just had a shower and washed my skin. It was anticlimactic, as I was saying. I just washed my face, my battery died. Um, just putting on some moisturizers. So I'm gonna use my Ola Henriksen Glow Cycle Retinol Serum. Hey, hi everyone. <coughs> hey yo. <laughs> How are you? Good boy. And my moisture surge, which I've used so much of. This is like a giant size. Now, come on. I'm going to make a coffee. Come on. <laughs> Rounded up the trip. <sighs> so I'm feeling slightly better after lots and lots of sleep. I still feel a bit sick. I think it's just the same cold lingering because I just started doing too much shit. Today, I'm not going to film. I'm just going to get videos ready. And then see where I'm at because I've got tomorrow Monday left for working. I'm going to try not to work on the weekend. I'm going to try and like pack and do all that stuff instead. And like clean up the house and everything. So yeah, I've got two working days to get all of my thumbnails done. And you know, schedule everything for you guys for content while I'm gone. I'm also going to edit a vlog today too. open up some packages later too because this vlog will be boring otherwise because yeah this is what it's always like just before going away on trips and stuff it's like i don't have time just to mess around and do fun vlog stuff it's just boring thumbnail work and stuff like that boring to you guys not to me although actually some of it can be boring sometimes it's really fun sometimes it's so tedious trying to like get it right have you ever seen something so cute what are you doing <laughs> Just grabbed four packages. I'm gonna open them together quickly. Two of them are clothing. Um, I've got way more packages than this, but I just thought I'd open a few so that the whole video is not just an unboxing. And then I've got stuff to unbox when I get back from America. I can barely function right now. I've just been on the computer all day since early this morning until right now, and I think it's like 4 p.m. All I've done is just edit videos, edit description boxes with links, and edit thumbnails, and I'm just like fried, like my brain just, woo, I've just sculled like a whole glass of water, and now I feel sick. You know when you scull water really fast and it like sits in like your chest? Like I did that somehow. I don't know, I'm just really dehydrated, so I was like, I need some water because I've just been on a computer all day and I feel very dehydrated and I keep forgetting to drink water like that. I don't know. Anyway, first package. So the first website I went on, because I've just bought some new clothes, because I'm off overseas again soon, and I just wanted some cute clothes. <laughs> yeah. So this stuff is from Sabo Skirt, and I picked up this top here, which just has like a really cute neckline. Um, it's just a long sleeve crop top, but it's not too short. A lot of crop tops at the moment in stores are like bras, and I'm like, no. I need it to be at least down to like my ribs, you know what I mean? So this is a really nice one. It's got a nice ribbed kind of texture fabric. What size did I get? Size large. So hopefully that fits all good. So I'm kind of like, I don't know, like usually I'm a medium, but sometimes I go a large because sometimes it gets a bit tight on like the arms or something. And then the other top I got, I also got in a large, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is a bodysuit, 
I'm worried this might be a little bit too big. It looks a little bit bigger than the other thing. But again, it's like a ribbed fabric. It's got really cute little wooden buttons. And it's got a really nice neckline once again. So yeah, I thought those were really, really cute. Probably take those to New York with me as just some basics. And then this one I want to show you because I always get questions like every day. People have been asking constantly since I posted my birthday vlog and my photo on Instagram wearing the top. That pink, like fuchsia pink long sleeve like drapey bodysuit top where it was from so this is it in green i just went and picked it up in green because i love the fit of it so much um it's from runaway the label and i go for a size medium it fits perfectly um and this is like the dark green color because i really like the green as well it's like a teal green very dark teal green um i don't know it's like brighter in real life than what you're looking at on camera i'll try to get a photo on it at some stage but i'll probably take that to new york too i just really like that top for like evening okay next up we have a package here from huda beauty it's a huge one Lily looks like a little cat up there look at him jeez <laughs> i'm gonna pick a little tape of this and use it to ship out my giveaway Oh, my lungs are so sore i definitely should not have worked out people are like oh i'm so concerned you're sick all the time but I don't know, I feel like it's a, like people are a bit confused. Like, when I've been sick in the past, it was like low B12, which is literally, like, you can't even do it. It's just hereditary. Like, it runs in my family. And then my thyroid, once again, that kind of runs in my family as well. And it's just something that happens to people. It's not caused by anything. I often, like, especially lately, like, when I've been traveling and everything, like I haven't been sick in a long time, there's just a cold going on New Zealand. And the reason I probably get knocked out way longer than people like Hamish and everything is because my immune system's just been bad since I was a kid. Because I grew up in a secondhand smoke house. My dad smoked a lot. And so like my lungs are literally like fucked. Like I had to have x-rays on my lungs because um, they're so messed up. Like I used to have a chest infection like all the time in my childhood and so stuff like this knocks me out like i can't really do anything about it it's nothing to do with like my breast implants or anything like that i'm not saying breast implant illness isn't real i'm just saying that's not what's happening right at this moment like i'm just recovering from a cold and it's taking a while and it's just a really bad one my mum's still sick she's had it for like three weeks hamish got over it really quickly thank god he just gets like really tired and fatigued and stuff but like he's not like sick sick um that's why I've just like rugged up in this top. I've got these like massive socks on of Hamish's. Because <laughs> I'm just trying to keep warm so I don't like keep getting sick. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I was starting to get better. better blah, blah, blah. And then I just went and did too much stuff. And sat in the cold. And got a chill. And it just all came back. And it's just sitting in my chest. And just up in my face a little bit too. So yeah. I mean it could be another cold. I could have caught it at the gym or something. I don't know. Um. I'm assuming I just like got worse again because I did too much. In here we have a whole bunch of goodies. So brush. We also have concealers. So I've already got like a couple of them but I don't know. I'll have to like go through everything individually soon. We've got the faux filter foundation in the shade creme brulee and also the shade cashew which I'm pretty sure is my normal shade. I actually need to like go back to trying out this foundation again because I really liked it back when I started using it but I think it was right before I started using my NARS um what is it called natural radiance foundation and then i just kind of like stuck with my NARS because it's like my holy grail then we also have some easy bake loose powders we also have a what is this oh, this is the highlighter palette i'm not like the biggest fan of the highlighter palettes to be honest what brushes a sponge and the matte perfection base and, and the pre-makeup base complexion perfection. So I actually already have like a lot of this stuff. So I'll probably put some in my giveaways. Oh, by the way, guys, today we made a page on Exo Beauty. If you're interested, like this is not me trying to like get as many followers into the group as possible. Because I just want people that are like huge fans of Exo Beauty to know. Basically, we made a Facebook group just for like exo beauty related stuff and also just like some general beauty questions but it's really centered around exo beauty a place for you guys to like share your looks that you create with exo beauty products um talk to each other ask for recommendations see sneak peeks maybe we'll do discounts once in a while for like our vip members and everything um so i'll link that 
video below if I remember otherwise you can find it on the EXO Beauty Facebook page you can click through from there and find the group and if I forget just comment below and I'll like reply to you with the actual link but um yeah so we've made that um you know if you're not interested that's totally fine it's not for everyone but just for those of you who are big fans of the brand like as we grow like it's just I don't know I thought it'd be a really cool thing to kind of have like a little EXO Beauty family um we're hoping to expand into some stores around New Zealand again soon. So like, it's just like a cool thing. I don't know, just like connections and have a little like family kind of atmosphere. The last thing here is from Benefit. And in here we have Bad Gal Bang 24 hour eye pencils. So there's a dark purple, a black, deep brown, which I'm most excited for, and a midnight blue as well, which is cool because I love the blue Bad Gal Bang mascara. I'm so excited. <sighs> I'm pooped. I think I'm just gonna stop working soon because there's only so much freaking commuter work you can do in one day. And I've not really had much of a break all day. Like the only break I took was to like hang out washing. Just trying to get ready for this trip. I need to like keep packing. Like you guys know the other day I started packing but I definitely need to finish. At least I've got some cute tops here I can take with me. So that's some outfits sorted. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit anxious about it all. I don't know. I have a question of the day, and my question of the day I asked on Twitter too, but what is a song that literally, no matter what, just makes you feel good? Because I have a song, and it is Just One Last Time by David Guetta, and every time I hear that song, it's like a nostalgic kind of song for me, like, I don't know, it's just loving life, like, at the same time as, as that song, and it reminds me of, like, traveling and hanging out with my friends, it reminds me of music festivals, it just reminds me of a lot of, like, good vibes, and every time I hear it, I'm just, like, so, like, I don't know, I just feel this, like, feeling of bliss, like, do you guys have a song that is like that, but for you? I know someone replied on Twitter saying Electric Feel, which is a good one. Um, but yeah, like, you know, like, the songs that just give you goosebumps, you, like, it just comes on on shuffle and you're just like, oh my god, like, it just gives you the best positive vibes. I'd love to know what your guys is. I need to remember to ask Hamish what his is later. I wonder if he has one. It was probably seven lines. <laughs> Time to just, I'm going to try and do, like, one more thumbnail. I can do it. I can do it. Having some lamb and some leftover coleslaw and some broccoli for dinner tonight. Hamish made this for me. Yum. This meme is literally me today. <laughs> Good morning. Oh shit, I'm taking my medication. Oh no. Um, today I'm going to finish editing. I've got two more videos I can edit and then I might film a video late this afternoon. And I need to send my giveaway. I'm making sure this is the right medication this time. I cannot be tired today. I need to go scull a glass of water. <sighs> I'm so bad with my water intake lately. Like you guys don't I've been drinking like one glass a day and maybe a bottle like when I've been going to the gym. Like nothing. Sorry, but if you don't walk around the house dressed like this, like who are you? I might film at my chicken wings challenge tonight with Hamish for dinner. If you can call that dinner, because we won't be able to stomach it really. Because yeah, I need to get some more content filmed. I figured out that if I go to Bali, I need to film 10 videos in one week. So it's probably not going to happen. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to take it slow, see how we go. See how I feel after New York. I might have to cancel some travel because I do feel a bit overwhelmed and especially being sick like you know last week really badly this week not feeling the best mentally it's just you know I don't want to put too much pressure on myself to like try and get all this stuff filmed just so I can go on a trip when I've already been lucky enough to go on a lot of trips so we'll see um I feel like I've exhausted my extrovertedness because I'm not extroverted but you know what I mean like I'm so introverted that I like force myself to do these things, but I feel like it's finally just taking its toll on me and I'm just like, I just don't want to go anywhere. I just want to stay at home and I just want to like hang out with my dogs and Hamish and no one else. <laughs> well, this is very cute. Look at this sticking out of my hair cap. So I, oh, I'm just checking my comments. Someone said you should probably try a different diet than keto. It doesn't seem to work for you because you can't stick to it like at all. Yeah, but it's not a diet. I'm not trying to diet. I eat keto as a way of eating normally. And it works for me. It makes me feel much better. I'm not trying to lose weight at the moment at all. Like, I don't care about that. Um, that's why I'm not, like, harsh on myself. 
I've just been feeling sick and traveling a lot and it depends where I'm going. Some places it's easy to stick to keto, some places it's not so easy, especially if you're not from the area. Um, so I just don't put too much pressure on myself once again. I think life's all about balance. You need to have a balanced way of eating for these kind of occasions. I don't like the word diet. Like, it needs to be something that you make work for your lifestyle. Hey, what's going on? And I'm the kind of person that still likes, you know, certain types of food. Once in a while, when I'm like strict on keto, like when I'm at home, I find it real easy to give up bread and stuff like that. The other night, I just wanted it, so I had it. And that's how I kind of live my life. Like if I want something that bad, I just eat it. But normally I'm fine. At the end of the day, people should be eating what makes them feel good. And if they want to eat something bad once in a while, like life's about balance, so who cares? I honestly like can't wait just to get back home and just settle back into everything. My working out, my eating, cause right now, like it's good. I'm not gaining any weight or anything, um, but it's just those endorphins. Like I miss, you know, working out and feeling strong and happy and, I miss just cooking at home and eating the like normal foods that I like to eat. Like at the moment, we're just kind of all over the show. Like we're like, sometimes we're low carb, sometimes we're healthy, and then we're getting like takeout because we've just been sick and feeling like crap. And I'm looking forward to getting past this point. <laughs> you know how like you wake up in the morning, and you're like, oh, I'm not gonna eat bad today. And then it gets to like the end of the day and you're so exhausted that you're just like, eh, fuck it. <laughs> it's the worst. I'm so bad for that. Just real talk here. Real talk. So I've just been editing for ages. It must be like 10 by now. Um, I've still got a lot to do. So I'm just going to keep smashing out the editing um, until I'm finished. I've got half a video and another whole video. I've got to do two thumbnails. And then I'm going to film something later this afternoon. Luckily I've got my lighting so like I don't have to like stick to a time limit. Even though I do prefer to usually film like early afternoon or like morning. I can film later this afternoon, but I'm just gonna make a coffee because yeah, I just am craving a coffee. Oh, that's a lot. I just put in way too much coffee. <laughs> you can see it all dissolves really easy. It's very strong coffee. <laughs> Should be good by the time the ice starts melting, <laughs> hopefully. What has happened to your ears? Look at his tail. What's going on? Hmm? What's going on? Let me fix them. <laughs> Let me fix it. <laughs> Let me fix it. <laughs> you cheeky boy. Come here. Deep down. You're so weird. He looks like a little bat. Bat tooth. So much content ready for while I am gone, yes. Where's the best feeling like when I've been busting ass and it all comes together and oh, I'm just doing all my lives. Um, and oh, that's bright. you know, I see everything there ready to go. I've got to do some thumbnails though, as you probably just saw in descriptions and stuff. But like having the content done, it's like a weight lifted off my shoulders because it's I've never really gone away without having my work ready. Do you know what I mean? Like I always make sure that I've got content, like it's my number one priority for my YouTube channel, for my main channel. So like, I don't know, I just feel like a weight's been kind of lifted because I'm like actually getting some stuff done. It's going to be a new story before Thailand, I mean not Thailand, Tokyo and Bali. I've got my New York travel, I come home for like two weeks and I need to pre-film for like a month. So I don't know how that's going to go, but I'll do my best job and put out good quality as always. I don't want to just like rush and do like shit videos or anything like that. So yeah, I'm going to film the chicken wings video with Hamish tonight with some questions um, and we're going to answer those. So that should be like a fun, different kind of challenge video. We haven't done that before. Something a little bit fresh and different. I want to do more videos with Hamish. I'm just not sure what. Like, what do you guys want to see? I was thinking maybe I could get him to do, like, a boyfriend buys me outfits, like, what we've done in the past, except this time he could, like, online shop for me and then, like, get it delivered and then I could, like, you know, give my opinion on what he chose or something. I don't know. Just put in my Luxie hair extensions. This top is from White Fox Boutique. Louis like, following me around like a bad smell. I feel. Do you want a carrot? 
Did you see his face? <laughs> Do you want a carrot? Is that what you want? Sit. Out, out. Good boys. I know. Shh. <laughs> Look at Zeus. You can have yours first because you're a good boy. Oh, he's got my sandal. Some random dogs turned up at my front door. What are they doing? Who's are they? I don't want to let the dogs out in case they create havoc. I don't know where they came from. Hello. I don't know what to do. Well, they both ran off to the neighbor's yard across the road. So I'm assuming they're his. I don't know. The dogs really wanted to say hello. I was just getting Louie and Zeus into the spare room so I could open the door and like usher the other ones, you know, somewhere in here or I don't know, see if they had a tag or something, but they've vanished. So hopefully that's all good. Almost made a new friend, nearly. Yeah, the man across the road just put them into his um yard. I got gifted a whole lot of Swarovski. I was wearing my Swarovski um, ring that Hamish bought me in Japan and they saw it because I tagged the ring. And they wanted to send me some gifts. How cool is that? So, we'll have a look inside. Can't really see me. But, okay, the first ring here. This is so cute. It's like this small little dainty Swarovski ring. I love that. That's so cute. Next up, we have, I think these are earrings. Yeah, super cute little earrings. I'll focus it for you. Little star and moon. I love those. They're like little tiny huggy earrings. Like super, super small little hoops, which is so cute and dainty. It's a very big box <laughs> for little earrings. And then next up we have these earrings, which is so cute. They kind of trick up the ear a little bit and they're just studs. Next is another ring. This one's so cute. It's like a little moon. I love that. This one's like adjustable. It's a little bit big for that finger. How cute. Oh my God, that's so cute. I'm gonna keep that on my finger. The Penelope Cruise, I think, collection. And then the final box is in their blue box. And these are oh, cute. These are so beautiful. They're like a black gemstone kind of look. These are right up my alley. Um, with little moon and stars. Little crystals all over them. Look how sparkly they are. Oh, I love. Thank you so much, Swarovski. That's so kind of you. I've been buying Swarovski stuff for years. I was going to say scuff. Swarovski scuff. I always buy it for my mum. So that's exciting. So we're filming the Hot Wings Challenge. I'm just about to put the wings on. Hamish is really late home from work. So he must have been held up. So I'm going to just start them now and then when he gets home, they'll be ready. So we got given this ultimate grill set for Christmas. So we're going to use the hot sauces. So there's three hot sauces there. Um, and then we also have, we've got like a honey. We'll probably start with this one and then go to that one. And then there's a bourbon pepper one, which sounds kind of spicy. And then we'll use all the hot sauces. I'm going to use the rubs. They sound really yum. I'll probably put them in the cup and just use them for other stuff. I don't know how spicy they are. And then we also have Tabasco. In case those aren't spicy enough, just to make it more of a challenge. 
but we'll see how we go. So I'm just gonna cook up the wings unseasoned. I'll just like salt and pepper them. So I like to use our active fryer. It looks like this and it just rotates. Literally just had leftover chicken for lunch um, and coleslaw and I'm not hungry whatsoever, but hey, these will probably be gross and spicy anyway. So I'm gonna make these chicken nibbles from Countdown. These are the ones Hamish picked up the day before yesterday. Just put on a tiny bit of garlic and herb. I think Hamish just got home. And I'm gonna use some pepper, and then that's it for the seasoning. Normally I do a lot more seasonings, like Cajun, barbecue, like, you know, to make chicken wings, but since we're doing all of the hot sauces, I don't wanna, like, not taste the hot sauce, and I'm sure we will. And she's on. Challenge hot done. The hot sauce is out, and I'll get rid of it. Yeah, this. I just need to go put this by my computer so I don't forget to take it with me on. A trip. I'm gonna edit these on the plane. That's today done and dusted. So now I am going to go to sleep. It's like 12.30. See you tomorrow.